Good evening, family. In Memphis, I've learned there's always been a big fascination with pimps or pimping. Years ago, they could be seen biggest day at the Greyhound bus station when it was located in downtown Memphis. Many of them dress much like the images you're seeing now. But tonight, I want to talk about something that is tied in with actual pimping from back in the day that has never been actually discussed online, at least not that I'm aware of. But I will try to discuss it to the best of my ability. In Memphis, there's a genre. I guess it could be considered a genre of music that most older Memphians accept as the sound of Memphis. Oftentimes, it is passed on to younger Memphians, although they may not accept it much due to the influence of rap. But what I speak on is called pimping. Pimping or pimp music has been a staple of the sound of Memphis for many years. I became introduced to this sound in the mid to late 80s after moving here. Many of the sounds and artists I had heard most of my life, although it was never placed in such a category like it is in Memphis and the Mid-South. Most of this music is old school music from the 60s, 70s, as well as the 80s. Although other areas of the Mid-South accept this sound, like the Delta in Mississippi and Western Arkansas, it is claimed heavy in Memphis. But where did it start? Who came up with the term for this type of music? I don't think there's an easy answer, but I feel that it stemmed from the soundtrack of the movie, The Mac. This soundtrack was performed by Willie Hutz, who is a symbol, the most symbolic symbol for pimping. Other artists are synonymous with this brand of music, whom I will name to the best of my ability. But just like Chicago has house music, D.C. has go-go music, L.A. has that funk, Memphis is big on pimping. Some of the artists that can be considered pimping are Curtis Mayfield, Bobby Walmack, Al Green, David Ruffin, and Eddie Kendricks, Isaac Hayes, Barry White, and Marvin Gaye. Lamont Dozier, who I have been listening to a lot lately, would be in this category. Some old heads may include Stevie Wonder as well. We also have groups and female artists who would be uh, in this group, like Walmack and Walmack, Frankie and Beverly and Mays, The Temptations, Smokey Robinson, The Manhattans, The Spinners, OJ's, Isley Brothers, The Whispers, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Stylistics, The Dells and Dale Phonics, Patti LaBelle, Shirley Murdoch, and Dorothy Moore, to name a few. I just wanted to speak about this due to me never hearing anything about this genre as it concerns the city online. If there are any artists I may have left off that you feel may be contributors to this sound. Please feel free to comment. Before I forget, there are a couple of rap albums or groups that could be added to this list. 8-Ball and MJG coming out hard and Do or Die, Pope Pimps. Both classics. Until next time, family.